What's up, everybody? Doc Dog One Ninety Five. There's levels to this. All right, so this one is a it's a disappointed video. I'm really disappointed in this. I'm disappointed in my man, um, Cowboy from uh, and now your mama knows. I'm gonna go ahead and link the video because you guys should go watch that video. Now, this guy, he's a Stadia guy, but you would think he's a Sony guy because he never says anything bad about Sony. He's always coming at Microsoft. But regardless, actually, he has one video where he's talking bad about Sony, but then he flipped his tune. I don't know, which is weird. So, so listen, so he has this video out where he's talking about how Xbox made the medium. I mean, Sony made the medium a better experience on the ps5 than it is on the xbox series x <sighs> because it uses the dual sense features now again i'm not i'm not in a capping mood i'm really not so i'm in a yeah I just, just had a rough day at work so i'm just gonna speak facts i don't feel like playing around at the end of the day i'm actually proud that sony made that controller obviously accessible to developers, to even third-party developers, that they can use the feature in that controller. I think that anyone that got a PS5, to include my son right now who has a PS5, I want him to be able to enjoy all those features on the PS5, and then he can decide which features he likes and which ones he doesn't, which ones he's going to turn on and which ones he's going to turn off, right? Right? But the option should definitely be there. One of the things that I feared when I saw everything that was on the PS5 controller was that third-party developers might not use it, right? Well, it looks like there's enough third-party developers that are actually using this, and we know Sony first-party developers are going to use it. So at least you're getting features that the console told you it was going to have, right? Regardless of whether or not I believe it's a gimmick. At least they're giving you the features. I think it'd be worse if it was like the touchpad on the PS4 where I can barely use it. You know what I mean? You barely use it. And on the games that you use it, it's like it could, I could have done without it. You know what I mean? So hopefully more developers keep using the DualSense. But to flat out say that a game is better because it uses DualSense features... Is very disappointing, cowboy. I can't, I can't, I can't believe you would say that when you have a video on your channel talking about how you played with the PS5 control. I think you were like at your nephew's house or something, and you yourself said that the Dual Sense didn't impress you. Same thing with me, man. I'm not capping. I'm not. I'm not lying. The Dual Sense for me didn't impress me, and it probably didn't impress me because I had such high expectations for it. Just hearing from what everyone was telling me, as far as like, you know, the Sony fans and oh my god, how immersive it is. Um, I never liked speakers on controllers, never liked them. And even though the PS4, I liked better than the Xbox um, One S, but I just didn't like, spe I, I hated the speaker, right? So that to me was always a gimmick. I never liked the touchpad. That to me was always a gimmick. But the haptic feedback and the triggers and all that other stuff, like I tried it. I played with it. I enjoyed Ratchet and Clank a lot more when I turned that stuff off. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to you. And, and you can't you can't make me enjoy something that I don't enjoy. So to say that a game is better just because just because it has those features. Doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't make sense to me. Especially when the game is not even out yet and we don't even know how it's running. Now, I've, I've came on this channel plenty of times and mentioned when Sony is running games better than the Xbox. I know a lot of you guys think that I'm just an Xbot and that I hate Sony. And I'll call out Microsoft all the time, okay? So I've came up here and I've spoken about, uh, so for instance, Warzone, right? Warzone running at 120 frames mode runs better at 120 frames than it does on the Xbox Series X. Last time I checked, unless they patched it or something. And I remember saying, yeah, but it runs it better at a lower resolution. And my argument to that is if you're playing Warzone and you're trying to get 120 frames, that's what you're prioritizing. If it has dynamic resolution and it's downscaling or whatever, that's fine because your main purpose is to play the game at 120. As long as it doesn't look like freaking Roblox or Minecraft, like you're fine. Come on now. You're fine. You, If you're putting the 120 mode, it's because you want to play 
120, right? So I gave props to Sony for running that game better. I think Assassin's Creed Valhalla was running when it first came out, was running better on the PS5. And I give the PS5 props, even though the box of the Xbox Series X said that it was optimized for the Xbox Series X. Yeah, I have a video talking about how, like, how are you going to promote a game saying that's optimized for the Xbox Series X and it's running better on your competitor's platform? You know, like, that doesn't, that doesn't make sense, right? So to me, the performance of the game is a clear definition as to whether or not the game is better on one console versus another. Not the gimmicks that it portrays. And everything about that medium commercial that Cowboy's going to be talking about, if you guys go watch this video, is all a gimmick. So disappointed. I saw somebody else. Shout out to you, Morgan. Um, Morgan posted this on Twitter. And I saw it. And, and me, Morgan, and Code went at it a little bit. And then I backed off because then King went in there. And he started talking about my gamer score. Y'all know I'm sensitive about that. So I just let it be. But it never went anywhere because nobody nobody really cares about this. So to see you, Cowboy, capping real hard for this, just really disappoint me. Now, if your point, if your point was to bait me and make make me make a video about you then you got me dog here it is i i'll put the link in the description go follow uh the cowboy and now your mama knows and go ahead give him likes dislikes uh leave comments he likes all that stuff right but yeah i don't know man some people swear about his dual sense though and it's funny because i was on iso motion gaming's uh channel when he was streaming streaming gameplay and I made him watch it live as we reacted to it. And I was dying laughing. I still didn't think it was that funny. But I was dying laughing because just everything about it just seemed so gimmicky. They were like, you're going to be able to feel the moths all around you. And they're controlling them. I'm like, oh, my God. If that's not a gimmick, I don't know what it is. So you're really going to be able to feel the moths? And then it says, and if you want to look around, you lift the control. And you, you get to look around. And it's like, come on, man. Like, I ain't trying to do that. But whatever it is what it is this does not make a game better but i am happy that sony is actually that developers are actually able to use this technology i think that is good and with time with time who knows maybe there will be a game out there that i'll try the dual sense and it, and it might blow me away but as of right now with astrobot ratchet and clank nah, i turned it off doc doc 185 there's levels to this we out peace